What's up, guys? All right, so earlier today, just earlier, we went on a little uh, excursion. Actually, a very little excursion, probably like two, three miles away. Uh, found a couple Supras for sale last night on Facebook. Reached out to the guy. A little bit of back and forth haggling and um, went to go see these vehicles. Basically, two shells. Got there, pretty decent shells. One is one is really good shell. The other one's a decent shell. Uh, we went back and forth on the price and um, got a really good deal. And they're sitting in front of uh, my buddy Rudy's house right now. So uh, here's a little bit of footage of us picking them up, and also a little bit of footage of them in front of the house. So now we got three Supras. Very clean bodies. Got these two from the same person. Really good price. Literally like two, three miles away from us. Can't go wrong on that. This one is an 89. I think the other one's an 87. More unfinished projects. <laughs> we'll finish something real soon. Like someone redid the dash. Hey, it's got black uh, door panels. Probably clean them up. This one's really clean on the inside. Not a huge fan of the blue, but it's not too bad actually. Keep you guys posted on this. Figure out exactly what the plan is for these cars. I think it's probably very likely that the 1J and the other Supra that we shot in a previous video is going to end up in this car. But we'll see. Set of KYBs with iBox Springs. Not a bad find. Man, who knows what the clock's gonna jump out of here. The shitties that seat is, I think it's better than the other set you have. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's leather, all the leather's rotted off of it.
There's the inner fender wells for the um, blue super. Okay. And that's what this this shit over here is seven M stuff. What's the yeah? Well, that's seven M. That manifold. Like seven M valve covers. This intake as well. This seven M intake. Okay. Seven M exhaust. Too small. That was just one fit on. They look weird on this car. You can sell them for a hundred bucks. Somebody might want them out there. This dash is nice. The dash is not bad. This is my dash, right? Yeah, that's my dash. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, there there are two sets of, of valve covers. I see the other one over here. Yeah. You got the red ones. Yeah, you threw this in the garage real quick, didn't you? What's that? You threw this in the garage really quick, didn't you? I don't want to rock, it's intact. The yeah. only cancer, well not cancer, but the only part that's flaking it is this part right here. The rest of the trim's all in great shape. Yeah, which is pretty rare. Very nice. rare. At least from what we've seen shopping shelves. Wait for viewers. The engine that's in this. Are these super wheels? These are original 7M wheels. Okay. They are period correct. The tires are not. We've got one huge tire on this side and a small tire on that side. Yeah, I noticed that when we picked it up. One tire looked bigger than the other one in the back. And they, they crisscross the rotation is back that way that tire is separated. Okay. So, I don't know whether they just shoved them on or what they did. This is a good starting point though, this car. Oh, it's a lot better than my shell. What are you my doing car. up here though? Well, we're gonna have it painted. Somebody was doing some Mondo work over here on the target top. Well, what's probably wise is this paper probably peeled like it's doing right here. And they try to fix this part, but they never finished the whole car and now it's all like that. But there's like five different shades of paint on this car. Yeah. I love the Targas in these cars. They look really good when they're off. Cool. Um, I took the hood off of it. He's coming here to do it? The cowl is missing. Oh shit. You seen the cowl on this one? Mm, let's look at it. Two pieces. Just right here, but the rest of the cowl is intact. Well, how about the one on your car? The running one, the running suit. The one on my car is just pitted out and rusted, but it can be refinished. Are you going to use the fog lights out of this one we found in the, somewhere in the I don't car? Know. I, might, I might do the JDM fog lights, the ones that are yellow. Okay, so we're just going to pull this stuff out of here and kind of inventory it. Yeah, and just inventory it. Look, there's maroon stuff for a car that we don't have a maroon car. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's, there's a lot of parts in this car that we don't know where they came from. Well, we could put that stuff up yourself. We don't want it. Alright. Yeah, but the cancer on this looks pretty bad. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Trim and the lights and stuff like that will rubble out of yeah, how many we'll times the, have we even seen complete trim? We'll keep the cables, you know, for like the hatch release and the, the hood release. Actually, between these two cars, we have two full sets of trim, right? Yes. Which is... Well, the, uh, the ugly duck's trim on the driver's side is what's the worst, it's bubbles. But this driver's side is intact, so, you know, we can make it work. You know the other good thing about this is, these still have the um, headlight motor. Oh, there's some trim line in here too, right? Oh, okay, so these are still good? Yeah. 
Like, I mean, the pop up motors, we need to take them out, keep them. Alright. Too bad you couldn't salvage a, an LSD rear out of one of them. It has a rear and in it, but it's a non turbo car, so the likelihood of it having a LSD is good. Okay. So you can always look. Because my rear end's detonated, so. Okay. I think I'm about to get monster rain, but let me just show you real quick. Looks like there's some good interior stuff. I don't know if some of it's black or he painted it black, but. Steering column piece and some door sills. 